Breaking the Wall of Antibiotic Resistance with Phage Therapy. Abdullah Farouk, University of Alberta, Canada. This is Simon. Simon was 15 months old, and he had a throat infection that just wouldn't go away. Treatment after treatment failed for Simon, and eventually he passed away. When doctors analyzed the bacteria present in his blood, they discovered that it was methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, a form of antibiotic resistant bacteria. Stories like Simon's are really sad, but what's terrifying is that they're becoming more and more common every single day. Every person shown here has been affected in some way by antibiotic resistant bacteria. The Center for Disease Control states that we are now living in a post antibiotic era. Every year, MRSA kills more Americans than emphysema, HIV and AIDS, Parkinson's disease, and homicide combined. In the face of this terrifying new reality, a therapeutic alternative is emerging bacteriophage therapy. Bacteriophages, or phages, are viruses that infect bacteria. They recognize specific molecules on the surface of the bacteria using these small structures shown here called tail fibers. They then hijack the bacterial cell to produce new virus. Killing the bacteria in the process. We can exploit the phage's natural antibacterial mechanisms to specifically kill pathogenic bacteria, and that's the basis for phage therapy. My approach to phage therapy is aimed at using a single phage, called T4, as a platform for the infection of multiple bacteria. In order to modulate the specificity, we will genetically engineer the tail fiber components. However, you might be wondering, and someone brought this up before. If the bacteria can develop resistance to the antibiotics, couldn't they develop resistance to the phage as well? They definitely can. But in order to combat that, my system makes that a lot more simple. If the bacteria do develop resistance by modifying their surface receptor, all we have to do is re engineer the tail fiber to target a different receptor. As a proof of concept, I engineered bacteriophage T4 to specifically recognize E. coli 0157H7, a common food pathogen. And our preliminary data suggests that the new phage is capable of binding to the pathogen. This, to me, represents the first step towards making sure that stories like Simon's remain a thing of the past. Thank you.